Hello from Quinta do Lago. Flamingos are saying hello. And also the coots and ducks. It's a beautiful hiking that we're doing today. You can see this wooden walking trail. It's going for many, many kilometers and it's very accessible. There's also a lot of bicycles. And here are some animals and birds that we are hoping to see today. Dragonfly, woodpecker, blackwing stilt. It's now the season only for the tree on the right side. The dragonflies are only to see from April to autumn. Here we have the very cute details on the garbage cans. And another inhabitant of this area. There are also some nice benches to rest on the way. There's a lot of joggers as well. Here is the overview of the natural park Ria Formosa. And we are very lucky now because it's very little tourists at the moment. It's the end of February and also it's a cloudy day, so that's why you don't see so many. And the preparations for the tourist season are full on, as you can see. This is the beach close to Quinta del Lago. And here is the other side. It reminds a little bit of the north of Germany. In the distance you can see Quartira and Villa Mura. On the other side you can see the bridge to Faro Island. This bridge you can go on foot or by car as well. When walking on this bridge sometimes it uh, produces a sound like little baby birds. Now be very careful if you're walking around. These chameleons can eat you alive. <laughs> and they're very cute actually. And uh, if you get lucky you get the chance to see them. Now there are very delicious meals on the golf place. And there's a lot of peace for this uh, beautiful bird. Here is the spoonbill. We believe that we saw this bird in the beginning of the video. And some more interesting birds and plants. The seagull is inviting you to subscribe to the channel in order not to miss the next videos and to support our videos, support our channel. And because of the algorithm then it's showing also to the more people if you click on like or comment or so. There's a very hungry golfer here. And also two more golfers behind. <laughs> Here is a little house for bird watching. I guess the trick is uh, they don't see you if you are in the house, so they are not scared, so they come closer. Here is a nice overview of the Parque Natural, the Ria Formosa. You will see the Quinta do Lago, then the airport in the end there. Now it's on almost noon time, so it's getting very busy here. And it's lunch time as well for this little elegant bird. Enjoy your meal, bon appetit! This is the third plane that we saw in the matter of 20 minutes that is landing on the Faro airport. And we found two more flamingos that are doing a sesta or siesta. Sesta is in Portuguese. And behind you will see the salt farming. There's a lot of salt produced in Portugal. And here we are at the bridge to Faro Island. You can see also there are cyclists besides the cars and pedestrians. And here behind is the Faro airport. There are more flamingos here also, enjoying their meal. And we took another way back now through the salt salinesh, salinen. <laughs> the flamingos like it here a lot. And as you can see this part is much less busy. Here we are deeper at the salt flats and we disturbed some birds who fly away now. <laughs> We tried to go this way, but it doesn't work. There's no more accessible roads, so we're going back. Maybe you have already seen the Algarve snow in some of our other videos, and this is another type of Algarve snow, Algarve snow the salt snow. <laughs> and now we are taking the alternative way next to the salt hills. There is some fresh salt production here going on. Here is a group of flamingos that don't like tourists at all, so they are hiding here far away from all the tourism. Here is the little channel and so probably it functions like this that it's taking water from here to here. You can see the pipes there that are bringing water probably there. Now we're leaving the salt flats and going further. The way that we are taking is full of these beautiful flowers and trees and it smells very nice now. We run away into this. So we are going to try the alternative ways, because here it's not possible to go through. We found this way next to the beautiful ruins. 
here are five uh, Roman tanks that they were used for salting fish and for increasing the storage time of the fish. And also they produced here the substance called garum. The ruins are dating back to the 2nd century AD. And here is a beautiful carob tree, Alfa Roba. When you see this blue sign, you know you're on the right way. Here is another one. And you can see some really beautiful plants on the way. Another house for bird watching, we're gonna try it now. Here are the types of birds that you can see here. And the watching window, let's say. Here are some guidelines for visitors' behavior. So don't feed the animals, don't make noise, otherwise you scare the birds. Don't lean out of the windows because then they would see you as a specific person and run away probably. This is around 2 p.m. so probably not the best time to see these birds. And here is a little turtle swimming in water. There are a couple of more, more turtles that you can see in the lower left corner. And the view to the hills in the distance is amazing as well. Yeah, so the secret here is to sit down, be quiet and wait for the best birds to pass by. Now if you look into the direction of the tree that is a little bit higher and a little bit darker than the other trees, that's actually not a tree but an antenna. And here in this part we found many more birds than in the, from the house. I guess the idea of the birds is to hide from the house because they know that there are people so many times. <laughs> this bird is very rare to see. We call it the Portuguese kiwi because we don't know the name. <laughs> With a long beak. The Portuguese kiwi changed the location. He doesn't mind being filmed. And you can also see the two turtles enjoying the sun there on the tree. This is even a better angle to see the turtles. Here are some other animals that you can see here, if you're lucky. Chameleon is an endangered species. And you can see the hedgehog and the bird that calls Hupo. Here we are back now at the point where the two roads are joining. And we are going back the same way that we came now. Now it's a little bit better the weather. Actually they forecasted rain for today, but that happens very often in the Algarve. They say it's going to rain and then it doesn't rain in the end. Now it's actually so empty that we meet somebody every minute, probably. We are coming back now. You have two types of wetland here, salt marshes and freshwater lakes. And sometimes the salt marshes are subject to tidal flooding, so it can be submerged at times. Also pay attention to the golf balls, they can be dangerous. We are back at the same place, Quinta del Lago. Maybe there will actually be some rain today. Did you know that flamingos are changing colors depending on what they eat? So for example, if they eat a lot of shrimps, they will become more pink. The flamingos and chameleons are telling you to subscribe, share, like, comment. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.